My name is Venaka and this is Slayer Drop Locked. The idea is simple, I can only obtain items by killing monsters on a Slayer task. This also means I cannot trade with any shops or pick up item spawns. For a full list of the rules and restrictions, check out the description of the video. Are you ready? Let's begin! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Venaka and I welcome you to the 25th episode of Slayer Drop Locked. Can we make it to 2500 likes for episode 25? That would be great. So with the Slayer Helm upgrade from the last episode, the entire series just became a lot more interesting. Almost every task will be easier to complete now and that is important because we are slowly getting into the end game content. In the previous episode we left off with our first Drake's assignment and I'm incredibly excited for this. Drake's may not be the most popular Slayer task in general, however for me it is insane. I mean, Drake's drop many items I need, for example high amounts of nature, law and death runes, and as you may know I cannot buy these from shops, so these drops are very useful. They also drop rune arrows which is better ammo than broad arrows, black dragonhide vamps which would be a huge upgrade since we are currently using leather vamps. Another amazing drop on their drop table is grimy torstals, a very important item to collect stamina potions from Dr. Jekyll, and of course they also drop the unique drake's tooth and claw needed to create the devout boots and brimstone boots. So let's just say that this creature is high on my list of favorite slayer tasks. Anyway, now that you know everything about the importance of drakes, I guess it's time to get into the progress. So here we are at the drakes, currently killing my first drake and as a slayer drop locked account I always try to avoid having to use food or prayer potions. So what I am trying to do is do as many kills as I can per trip and then once I run out of prayer I have a method to teleport to my player owned house, recharge my prayer and then use the battlefront portal to teleport back to Korand to get very close to this mountain and then simply run back to the drakes again so I can continue to kill them and if I just pay attention on this special attack every time I should be able to do this without taking any damage whatsoever so not bad. Here we go for the first drake kill ever, a lot of slayer experience and we got 27 law runes, that's a very nice stack of runes right there. The second kill of the trip is even more law runes but as you can see I am out of prayers so I just teleport to my house and this way I can now just recharge my prayer here and after I've done that it's very easy for me to get back because you can simply use the battlefront portal and this way I will get back very close to the location where I need to be. So now I'll just run back and go for my second trip. Time for the third kill and we got four diamonds. That is not a bad drop. I mean I can use that for crafting but even for fletching like good bolts. The rune drops are absolutely insane. We got 51 nature runes in one freaking drop. That is sick. A red dragonite body is not really the item I was looking for but I can get some extra red dragonite bodies to use in the wilderness because I don't mind losing them when I die. There we go, another drake down. And we get our first alkable, a rune full helm. Not bad. By the way, the death animation of these drakes are pretty nice. I am not gonna lie, almost every drop is a useful one. This is so great for my arrow supply. I've actually marked these purple because death runes are so good for Wilderness Slayer, for example Scorpia and later on for the Trident as well. Well that is a big rip, I hope that Ash really adds this new feature soon where you can see if someone else has damaged the creature. It looks so beautiful, 35 death runes. Hey, there's our first brimstone key of the task and also nice death runes, what a great drop that is. Holy shit, we got Dragon Throne Axes! That is not the drop that I was wanting, but oh my god. Yes, I got them! The Black Dragonhide Vams, oh what an upgrade. What an incredibly beautiful upgrade. Instead of the Leather Vams, I can now use the Black Dragonhide Vams. Alright, we've almost finished the task, but I ran out of arrows, so let's go and buy some new ones. 3.7k arrows, good to go. Okay, so even though I love this task, it takes incredibly long to complete, so I'm somewhat happy that we're finally done now, but of course I wouldn't mind to get another Drake's task soon because we still need so many drops, but I am out now. I want to get a quick Turiel task, and we get 39 cave trawlers. Okay, let's get it over with quickly. Alright, that's the last kill of the task. We got a nice Snapey, Grassy, so that's cool for a prayer potion. 
13 mutated zygomites, that's a very quick task, so let's complete that quickly. Yay! Alright, I gotta admit, this is quite boring, but we gotta do it. And once again, a boring task completed, let's hope for a better one next time. Well, let's go, we got 82 more drakes, it's a tedious grind once again, but so worth it. Kill number 15 on this task is a brimstone key, thank you very much. So I realized one thing, the superior creature of a drake is a guardian drake, and that's the strongest superior creature in the game. And for this I'm really going to need a crossbow with more accurate bolts or ammunition. So I don't usually do this, but we're gonna buy broad bolts in the slayer store, I have enough points anyway. But if I get the superior, I can now use these bolts. Brimmy key number 3. And guess what? Make it 4. We got a spare Black Dragonhide Vamps drop that is so nice to use in the wilderness. Once again, what a nice combination. We got a Brimstone Key and another Black Dragonhide Vamps. Well, guys, it was almost like I knew this was coming. We got a superior creature. There we go. Look at that Slayer experience, 7.2k. We did not get a drop, unfortunately, but this superior creature is just amazing, man. And that is the final kill of the second Drake's task. These tasks take so many hours to complete, but like I said before, the drops are so worth it. So we got a Skeletal Wyvern task, and actually I need to AFK for a bit, so this is actually perfect right now. Alright, so I believe this is the first time we actually get an Adamant Bolt drop. That is great, because I can turn these into Diamond Bolts later on. And there's Brimstone Key number 5, I think, this episode, or 6? If only I had a Torstal, I could have used this to get the Stamina Potion, but I don't. There is another key. Time for a new task. And this time we get a very nice task, 226 gargoyles that is guaranteed money and good experience. Honestly, at this point I have lost count how many brimstone keys we already got today. Another brimstone key, say no more. Something plus something is something, right? And there's another one. A crimstone bee. Okay, my friends, it is time for serious business again. I'm about to get up a very, very nice level. I want you to witness this together with me. Here we go, 94 range guys, only 5 more levels and then we have maxed our first skill on Slayer Drop Locked. I literally got 6 keys in like 170 kills. Okay, well I already got too many of these but it's always cool to see a drop like this on the floor so I can't complain. Once again we are killing a superior creature from this nice and beautiful safe spot that I discovered but the question is, can we get a good drop? We will find out now. No, we cannot. Key number 7. This task alone. Alright, there we go. Task completed. 356 in a row now and 2.2k points. So let's first get a new task then. Let's see what we'll get. And... <laughs> no, I cannot do that yet, man. <laughs> no. I cannot do that. Try three. But I don't even... I'm not even prepared, man. How can I even... Okay, I, I'm, I'll just do three. But I don't even know how to prepare for this. Well, anyway. Um, let's go and open these chests first. Alright. Let's unlock the first chest. That is a big drop. That is a very big drop. That is also nice. And Snapdragon Seeds. Rune Fool Helms, okay. More Rune Fool Helms. Dragon Dart Tips. A lot of Iron Ore, beautiful. Rune Plate Bodies. That's nice for crafting. 5k Pure Essence, that's good for my account. I can't remember... What did I get? I don't even know. Anyway, I can see it in the chat. Rubies again. 4 Rune Fool Helms. And more uncut rubies. Well, I'm I'm very happy with all these drops, guys. This is good. This is very good. Okay, so I did not see this coming. Of course, we have completed Death Plateau now, so we can do God Wars bosses, but stat-wise, we are not really prepared for this. Even though I know this is an impossible task, I really want to see where I'm at to see what is required to defeat the Zemi boss. As you may already know, is that I am not a very experienced player yet, 
when it's about high level PVM content, but I have done a fair amount of Zemi kills in the past, so I know what the boss is about. The question is just, can we defeat it with Slayer drop locked items only? Time to find out. Oh my god, I stood no chance at all. Okay, well, I tried my best, guys, but I was tearing through my food. If you take a look at, like, um, my food that I have here, this is all the food that I have left, even. If I'm taking, like, all this food already for one kill, then it's just not gonna work out, man. Yep. This is this is a no-go. Like, it's gonna happen at, at some time, but uh, not yet, unfortunately. Okay, so Krill was a disaster. We are going to cancel the task, but of course later when the stats are better, we are going to return and kill this beast. But now, let's get a new task. And we get Drakes again. Well, I don't complain about that. Very nice drop, so let's go. Oh, we finally got it. One of the most important drops from the Drakes, three noted torstals. That means I can now get three stamina potions if we can get the Dr. Jekyll random event, of course. But this is very big for the account. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. So in all honesty, I shouldn't lose any time. I have to get these cleaned immediately because we can get a Dr. Jack or random at any time. So now we are prepared. More arrows is what we need. More. I just forgot to record the level, but hey, we got 88 hit points. Nice. A brimstone key. It is my lucky day. Another three torstals. I believe I only need one more and then we have enough to get 10 stamina potions. That is great. And letter key, of course, very welcome. Thank you. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Once again, dragon throne axes. I mean, I don't need this drop. It's so cool to see on the floor still, but I want the drake's tooth or claw, but this is kind of useless. Oh man. I don't feel like doing day enough, so yeah, bye bye. But next task. Okay, we once again get drakes, but hey, you won't hear me complain about this. Like I said before, the drakes are still great, and uh, let's just grind out even more and hopefully get a good drop this time. I barely made it with my prayer points, but we killed it, the guardian drake. We did not get a drop, but hey, we got some great slayer experience that is worth a lot too. And of course, this is always nice to get another brimstone key. Oh my god, I got the tooth! Oh my god, I got the tooth. I wanted the claw, so this is not the best drop. I got it in combination with a brimstone key. It is still really nice to see though, we got one unique at least. Oh man, I wish this was the claw, but still, it's a rare, I'm happy. Can we get an amazing random event? Worst joke ever? Yes, we can. We got feathers. These keys feel way more common than they should be. Can you guys believe it? After all this time, playing on the account, I'm getting so close now. This is the kill. The kill for the special level. And that's it. The last hit. And here we are. I didn't even get a proper level up message, but we got 85 Slayer. Which means we can now kill Abyssal Demons for the Abyssal Whip. This could be the kill. Yep, there we go. Killed another superior creature. And once again, no drop. We honestly killed so many drakes now. And basically the only drop that we are still looking for is the uh, drake's claw. So, I don't know. It could take a long time, but also next task. You never know. Nope. Okay, so at this point I've done so many drakes, I want to skip the task and do something else because otherwise this episode is going to be drakes only and that is something that I don't want. No, thank you. Alright, so that is actually decent. Let's go and do that. 
By the way, something that I should really do is extend my Abyssal Demon tasks before I get one because I will be able to kill so many more and that's a better chance to get a whip. So let's confirm that and then we are good to go. A nice little challenge completed there for my first Kuras kill. You could have guessed it, another Brimstone Key. This is such a nice drop my friends, this is literally the, like, the best magic body that we have now. The Mystic Top, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Can we get feathers? Yes! Look at that! 1600 feathers, my friends. I mean, I can craft or fletch bolts with these later. That's that's beautiful. The task is completed with some snake grass seed. Not a bad task. Look at that. Let's pray for the Abyssal Demons, guys. Let's pray. Like, if I get drakes, then I think I'm gonna skip it. Because if I get a drake task now, it's gonna take the entire stream. Okay, here we go. Can we get it? Oh my god, I am always so freaking lucky on the stream, man. I am always so freaking lucky on the stream. I freaking got it, man. I'm always so lucky. <laughs> well, of course, we still need to get the drop. We still need to get the drop, but still, man. What a moment, my friends. The first Abyssal Demon task. This is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. The drop table of this creature is not that great overall. But the Abyssal Whip being part of it, which is probably the most iconic weapon in the entire game, completely makes up for it. Also, there is a chance to get an Abyssal Dagger, but let's be honest, that is not going to happen. Or is it? Alright my friends, it is time to unlock the Brimstone Chest and let's see what we can get. The first one, we get Rune Plate Bodies, nice Alcables. Then we get some cash that is beautiful. That is not too great for my account, but we'll take it. Ooh, coal, always good. Rubies, very happy with that. And rune ore, what? Okay. Well, there you have it, the drops. Let's go to my house. And then use the Think and Strain Castle teleport. And then run all the way there to the uh, Slayer Tower. Or maybe, like, it's not too much of a difference. I could unlock this one, the Salve Graveyard Teleport. It's a little bit closer. Like, now it would be perfect to have the Eternal Gem for the Slayer Ring. A nice drop. Not a great drop, but it's okay. We're getting closer and closer to the kill. And... Oh! We got our first rare! A Dust Battle Staff! Just look at that, guys! Hey, What is that? That is so beautiful! It's not like, it's not an eternal gem, it's not an imbued heart, but hey, This is pretty sick, right? The first decent drop of this task, a brimstone key. Well, there we go. Let's wreck him with the DDS spec. Boom! A rune chain body! We end off the task with a rune chain body drop, but unfortunately we did not receive what we wanted. Alright. There we go. Bats. Well, that is something that I can do very quickly. So let's actually do that from Goner and show you guys like uh, what is waiting for me to be done. So that is that. We completed that task. Now use that to go to my house. What if we get another Abyssal Demon task? It would be pretty, pretty epic to be honest. Dagonauts in Korend. Well... Oh my god! You literally called it! Dagonauts in Kurand! What the hell? That is absolutely insane. No way. Th that's chance, man. Wow. I'm not gonna do it, though. We finally got this boring task out of the way. Cal fights, and now it's time to get a new one. Alright, Conor. Show it to me, baby. And we get 222 Necreal. That is a great moneymaker. A slow task, but very nice. I just bought 7.5k broad arrows, wow. Well that my friends is a very good start of the task, a brimstone key and some blood runes. I honestly don't think I ever had this many brimstone keys in one single episode, this is nuts. I told you, hey look at that, we got ourselves a clue scroll, we are stacking up the keys. Key number 4, what do I want more? Alright, after six years we finally finished the Necreal task, that is beautiful. 
Okay, so we got 170 fire giants. This is the moment where I will decide to block the task because fire giants are just not that interesting. So I guess it's just better to just get rid of it. I'm going to unblock the ice warriors because that is actually not too bad of a task and I can't even get them at this slayer master. So I think this is the best way to do it. Just get rid of these fire giants, man. And we get gargoyles instead. That is very nice. Thank you. There is a clue casket, always exciting, here we go. And I got Narda teleport, well that is convenient. <laughs> I just needed to go there, quite a lot as well, 11, so I can use that for future clue scrolls I think. Not bad. There is a superior kill, can we get something good? And nope. The inventory is looking clean, alking all my rune items and making much money. Well, hello. And once again, no drop, just coins. This is the last skill of the gargoyle task. Once again, made a lot of money. 364 tasks completed in a row now. Okay, I'll be honest, I really don't feel like doing blood belts right now. Okay, so this is still bad, but it's easy, so let's go. I believe I said I didn't want to do blood belts. Honestly, this is just as bad. Task number 366 completed. Nope. I don't feel like doing it, but we are going to do it anyway, because it's good for the bones. I kind of forgot to record it, but as you can see, I killed the last worm. So that means we can go back to Konar to get a new task. 144 Kurask. Hey, another Brimstone Brother. Thank you. Nice for the collection. So we did that task. Just look at my inventory. It is so juicy. But now it's time for a new task. And we get 142 Greater Demons. That is not so great. Let's skip that. Oh yes, this is so exciting. Barrows Brothers once again. That's the second time I get this task. No way. So as you guys know, Barrows is a very rare task to get. And I can only do six chests per task. So there's a very small chance to ever receive a Barrows item. Uh, of course, eventually I believe we will get some of them. But it's just not very easy to grind out Barrows items. So yeah, let's just hope for the best. Well, look at that. So we got a combat task completed. I think for not taking any damage or something. Look at that, a nice little safe spot here. Always nice. So if I could choose for one item, it would definitely be a body that gives me some defense. Let's go for the first chest during this task. And we get nothing. Wow, this is very crappy to be honest. There we go. Time for another chest. <sighs> Look at that, 71 mage. All right, third chest of the task. Once again, nothing. Chest number 11. Nope. I have a feeling it's going to take a very long time for me to get a Barrow's item. I don't know. I just don't feel lucky at this at all. I've always used this trick back in the day where you have no prayer, but you can walk around the grave and then this way you will never get hit. It takes a little bit longer, but this is a great method. So I can only open two more chests, this one and the last one. I really want an item. Please give me something. I don't care what it is, like even an Arim staff. Oh no. All right, Kirill, give me your leather top, please. Would be nice. Oh, this is so awful, man. All right, time for a new task. Can we get Abyssal Demons this time? Would be nice. No, we cannot. Black Demons in the Catacombs of Koran. All right, let's cancel that task. I have no Scotizo anyways, so we can get rid of that. And nope. Look at that, we got the task. Abyssal Demons again, yes. Well, here we go, guys. We just got ourselves a strength level to 87, getting close to that level 90, which is pretty nice. An Ancient Shard is a cool drop to see on the floor, but not the one that we want, of course. There is a brimstone. I think we literally got like 20 plus brimstone keys this episode. If not 30, I don't know. Yep. Oh, definitely. There is another dark totem piece. We got the middle piece. That means one more and then we can do Skatiso again. So this is the final kill of the second episode demon task. And we did not get a whip, but we did get an ancient shard. But anyway, um, we are not lucky yet, but the whip will come, guys. It will. So, because I cannot get back-to-back -back Abyssal Demons, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial task in between. 
And we get 44 reds. That's actually not bad. Um, I can't unlock Brine Reds now, so let's go and do that. Alright, let's dig right here. And there we go, we are at the Brine Reds. I really do like this task. They drop a lot of raw food, they drop death runes, and they're very easy to kill, so... Yeah, it was a very chill, relaxed task. But of course, now it's time to get back into uh, hopefully a better task again. All right, guys, let's go. Let's open this thing. 13 times. Unlock the brimstone chest. And that's beautiful. Iron ore always good. Raw sea turtle. That's the first time I get this drop. Pretty cool. Gold ore. Renar Seeds, always nice. More Iron Ore. Rubies, I like that. I need more Crafting XP. Rune Plate Legs, Coins, okay then. Coal. That's like so useless and that too, at least for now. Then a Rune Plate Body and last but not least, Diamonds. I mean, that's always nice. That is always nice. Alright guys. I honestly believed I had access to the farming guild, but no, I need more Hosidia's favor. I will go and do this, but just not yet, so rip me. Well, what do we have here? I just opened all the chests, but hey, we got another brimstone key. Well, look at that. You did not see it coming that quickly, right? 95 range already. How sick is that? So what is funny is that during the Trailblazer League, I actually got the Impute Heart from the King Kurask, and my question is, can we do that again? Ah, oh, we cannot. Brimstone. Honestly, I wish this was the Battle Axe, but hey, it's still a Leaf Bladed Sword drop, so not bad. There we go, 372 tasks done. Just wow, man, these tasks are just way too good. It is not even special anymore, but hey, we got another Granite Mole. Thank you, I guess? Like, getting Brimstone Keys feels like getting cow hides from a cow. There we go, another cow hide. The hide and the beef in one drop, holy cow. RIP RNG, confirmed. Blech. Task 374, completed. You know, I would kill these in the canyon, there I get favor, but here I don't, so let's skip it. Boom! Just look at that man, that is some amazing support, thank you so much my friend, for the bond. The MVP man, this bond will bring us like the lucky charm. It's a murder, a killer clown. Oh no. But maybe, maybe we can get the drop now that he's watching. He's watching over us. Let's punch you to death. There we go. Oh my god! No way! It worked! It actually worked! What is this, man? <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? I punched it to death and I got it. This is absolutely insane, man. What the hell? No way. What just happened here, man? What is this? No freaking way.